Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Scooby. Let me show you the best custom UI slash client for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you're interested, stick around. As always, if you do not know how to install add-ons or you want to download this add-on for yourself, links are in the description down below. So here it is, the best custom UI slash client, the Cube UI. And it's made by MC underscore Spruce. So it does come with a cogwheel and you get all these different options as you can see over here. So I'm going to leave it on the default like always because I think it's the best. Do note that if you do change, you will need to restart Minecraft. So make sure it's active and all you need to do is click out of the settings and allow it to apply and boom. As you can see, this is the new UI. It just looks epic. Everything kind of like bounces in, which is super epic. And over here on the right, you can see all the different options here. So of course we have options, option, right here and you have all this different thing with a new kind of background which is super awesome and it comes even with a frame rate limiter up here which is super neat and all the different things that come in, in fps things right here which i think is super awesome next up we have the achievements of course this doesn't change much because of course achievements stay like achievements over here we have the marketplace which will load into the marketplace with like kind of like a whitish background which is super epic over here we have the dressing room once you click in you can see all your normal skins and all that super awesome with a kind of a light ui to them next up we have the support over here i'm not going to click on it because we'll open up a different tab and finally over here we have the ui information which just opens this for some every reason next up we're going to click the play button and over here you can see the ui has changed with all the different things over here at the top Awesome, you can click here and scroll through your servers. Over here's your friends and over here's your world. It does indeed change your new world UI right here, which is super neat. If we go back and hop into the world, I'll show you some other things this changes. Once in the world, you'll immediately notice that the hot bar does change. Just look at this, it looks super epic. And in your hot bar, it's kind of like see-through and all that. You can tell where your selecting thing is by this little bluish flickering line that's over it, as you can tell right there. And over here, we can see that there's a new crosshair super neat if we open up the inventory this does indeed change it's like kind of a bluish accent to it and it's kind of see-through which is super awesome because especially in combat situations you kind of want it to be see-through so you can see approaching enemies if we press escape to open up our menu here you can see that's a different thing right here just look how different this looks super clean Honestly, just look at all this, the resume game, the settings that we've already been to. Basically everything we've already seen. Over down here, we have a new button over here that brings up your friends. Which you can see all your friends listed here and all that and change their permissions and all that, which is super awesome. So let's click on resume game and hop into the game. Let's go down over here. Let's go through some basic UIs over here. I'm not going to go through everything because by far there's too many. So let's just start with a simple crafting table and boom. Generic crafting table, like always, super neat, super clean. Over here, we have the enchantment table. When you open the enchantment table, it looks super nice and all that. But you don't really have an access button at the top right like you normally do. It's down here where this kind of grayish bar is at the bottom. You click that and it'll close it down for you, which is super awesome. That kind of helps out with your fingers. Over here, we have the anvil. Same kind of deal here. It's super neat and nice and see-through. Go down here, you can click this grayish bar at the bottom to actually close it. Which is super awesome. So like I said, I'm not going through every single thing in this client slash custom UI. That's all up to you. So if you wanted to remember to download it, the link is in the description down below. If you made it this far in the video, consider commenting fine in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you did enjoy, make sure you have a like, comment, subscribe, share this with all your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.